Hello. I bet you're looking to buy a house, right? Well, did you know that a major factor in what determines your ability to purchase real estate and how much it will cost you in higher interest rates is your credit score. That's right, your credit score. When you apply for a loan or credit, lenders need to know where you stand, so they rely on credit scores to give them an idea how you've handled debt in the past. What's your credit score? Is your credit score a deal maker or a deal breaker? Well, that's where this video comes in. You're going to learn about credit scores, how to find what yours is, and if it's bad news, how to repair the damage so you can turn your score into good news for lenders and for yourself. And you'll be able to consult freely about your situation by contacting an advisor right on this site. But back to credit scores. See, your credit score is an indicator of how likely you are to default on a loan or credit card in the next 24 months. That's why it's so important. Here's how credit scores are calculated, with the most important being mentioned first. 1. Your payment history. Did you have delinquencies? How bad were they? How recent? And how many times have they occurred? 2. Amounts owed. Do you have large outstanding balances? And what is the ratio of the balances to your credit limits? 3. The length of your credit history. Have you been borrowing for a long time or not? 4. The number of inquiries about your credit history. How many times have you applied for credit? 5. Do you have a good mix of credit? Do you have credit cards, auto loans, and mortgages? A good mix is better. Your stats are compared with millions of other borrowers, and the credit bureaus come up with a number that falls somewhere between 300 and 850. The higher the number, the better the risk you appear to a lender. And the higher the score, the better chance you have of getting lower interest rates on credit cards and loans. This can save you thousands of dollars. So, what's your score? You can find out by contacting the three credit reporting agencies, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. You can also try MyFICO.net or other services. Most will charge a nominal fee for the service. You can even request a free credit report once every 12 months from annualcreditreport.com. Okay, so let's say you find out what your credit score is and it's low. Well, it's not the end of the world. There are things you can do right now that will help you raise your credit score or keep it from falling. Let's start with credit cards. Here are some tips for using them properly. Don't pay them late. Not only will you be paying late fees, but your interest rate will go up, and this gets reported to the credit bureau. Make more than the minimum payment each month, and try to stay under 30% of your credit limit. Don't spend extra to earn rewards or travel miles. This rarely pays off in the long run and can get you deeper into debt. Be aware of cards that promote low teaser rates as they might have annual fees attached or bump up to an extraordinarily high rate after the initial period is over. Also, note the balance transfer fees if you intend to transfer balances from other cards. Here are some tips for spending in general. Getting credit is good, but don't spend more than you earn. Make sure you can handle the monthly payments, especially if an emergency situation comes up. Don't open up too many lines of credit. You don't want to look as if you are taking on more than you can handle financially. And don't carry too high a balance. You want it to appear that even though you have been given a line of credit, you don't need to use all of it. Be careful about co-signing on a loan or lending out your credit card. In the end, you are responsible for the credit even if the other person has abused it and not having any credit can be just as bad as abusing credit. Apply for some cards or loans and then pay balances off promptly. That way, should you run into hard times and really need credit, it will be there waiting for you. Think of it as insurance. If you move, make sure you update your contact information with your lenders. That way you can avoid misplaced bills, penalties, and higher interest rates. Finally, don't wait to take action. Credit repair takes time, and you need to start working on that right away. And we can help you with that. We will guide you into selecting the best credit repair option for your situation. You'll get a personalized plan designed to help you raise your credit score in the shortest amount of time, so you can get approved for the best loan at the best possible rate. Getting started is easy. All you have to do is call the number or submit your contact information below this video and someone from my office will call you back to schedule a free, no obligation consultation. It's time to stop being embarrassed about your credit and start healing it. Call us today so we can help put bad credit behind you and get you on the fast track to homeownership.